Hello everyone and welcome to Software Architecture Monday. My name is Mark Richards and in this lesson number 123 we'll take a look at composite architecture characteristics, what they are and also how to define them. You can find a listing of all of the videos I've recorded on Software Architecture Monday at my website at developer2architect.com slash lessons or simply click on the lessons link in the menu. Here you can find resources corresponding to each of my videos and also watch them embedded within my website or a link over to YouTube. Most of the material in my lessons comes from two books I recently wrote with my friend Neil Ford, Fundamentals of Software Architecture and most recently published Software Architecture, The Hard Parts. So let's talk about composite architecture characteristics. Architecture characteristics are sometimes known and called illities because most of them end in the word illity, like scalability, availability. Um, sometimes referred to as non-functional requirements or even system quality attributes. These are the characteristics the architecture must support in order to satisfy the business needs, hence why I call them architecture characteristics. There's a problem with these, however. They're really hard to define. There's no place you can go to get a true solid definition of any of these architecture characteristics. Now, in Lesson 71, I talked about scalability and elasticity, and I defined scalability as the ability for the system to operate as the number of users or requests continue to increase. That's a good definition of scalability, but probably not good enough. Because of this word here, operate, what does that even mean, the system to operate? You see, in order to fully understand and also define an architecture characteristic, there's a little tip that I can give you. Every one of architecture characteristics can be defined, and one of the best ways to define those is this following tip. If you can measure it, then you can define it. And this, in fact, is a great tip for being able to get to a true definition of what these characteristics mean. And let me give you an example. What does it mean for the system to operate? What does that even mean? We can turn that around and say, well, what can I measure? Well, I suppose I can measure the performance and responsiveness and see if that's impacted. I can also measure to see if there's an increase in timeouts or even system crashes. As a matter of fact, it's not all about those things. It's also about capacity. I can measure and track the capacity of our database capacity as well as our servers or virtual machines. And as a matter of fact, by objectively measuring all of these, I can start to have monitoring, observability, and then also analysis to see that as our users increase, our scalability remains fairly good on response times. However, Let's take a look at two very common architecture characteristics that are really hard to define. How do we define reliability? What does that even mean? And how do we measure that? And another one we throw around quite a bit is agility, that ability to respond quickly to change. How do we define and measure that? These two are great examples of what are known as composite characteristics. In other words, it's an architecture characteristic that is comprised of other architecture characteristics. You see, answer the question, what would you do to define reliability? Let's turn back to our tip. In order to define it, we should probably first measure it. What could we measure with reliability? Well, we can start to ask the following questions. Um, is the system up when I need it? Um, also, when I am using it, uh, does it crash anytime I use a certain feature? This is the aspects of reliability. Um, very similar to thinking about the reliability of maybe your automobile or your vehicle. Uh, when you go out to go to work or go to the store or something, you automatically just go in your car and turn the key. Does it always start? 
Is the battery sometimes dead? Uh, these are aspects of when we think about a car as being reliable. But there's other aspects as well from a system standpoint. The reliability of a system can also say, hmm, well, it may always be up and running. It doesn't crash, but is the data correct? And is the data even consistent? So these are all questions that we can say, yeah, that kind of defines reliability. And do you know what? These are all other kinds of characteristics. Is the system up when I need it? That's all about availability, another kind of architecture characteristic. We can measure availability. Does it crash? That's an element of fault tolerance, something else that we can actually measure and track. Is the data correct? Is really an element of data integrity, something else we can also measure. And finally, is that it a consistent is all about data consistency, which is a little different than data integrity. All of these are things that we can actually track. And so what we see is that when we talk about reliability, what we're really talking about are these four elements, the system being available, fault tolerant, integrity of data, and also the consistency of data. And so this is a really good example of a composite characteristic. Now let's do another one that's very, very common. And that is that of agility, the ability to respond quickly to change. Good definition, but what would we measure to make sure that we're meeting agility or that changes or migrations we made to another architecture are actually more agile than what we had before? See, because as architects, we need to also validate that we're achieving these goals. So how can we measure agility and help define what it means? Well, I suppose the first thing we can say is, well, how long does it take to locate and find and apply the change as a developer? However, we may be able to do that fast, but there's another element of agility, and that's how long does it take to actually test that change or that feature or bug fix? And that's also unit as well as scenario testing. But there's another element of agility, and that's how long before it can be deployed? And it's interesting, these as well as when we talked about reliability can all be measured. How long does it take to apply the change? Is it an architecture characteristic known as maintainability of the application? Is it easy to locate the area in the application or architecture that needs to change? How many places do we need to apply that change? How long does it take to test is related to another architecture characteristic which we also could measure, and that's testability, the ease of and the completeness of testing. And so we can measure testability by two ways. One is the number of bugs that we continue to seem to introduce into the system upon every deployment. That's something we can track, but we can also track how long the testing cycle took for a particular change. And then finally, how long before it can be deployed is all about another kind of architecture characteristic called deployability, which is about three things, really. It's about the ease of deployment. In other words, the ceremony involved. It's also about the frequency of deployment, how soon or how frequent I can deploy, and also about the overall risk that we incur with deployment. All of these can be measured and now form a great definition of what really is agility. Now, occasionally I do leverage the composite characteristics if in fact, as you've seen in other videos, uh, especially the one talking about my architecture characteristics worksheet, um, you'll notice that I try to limit the number of characteristics to seven, no more than seven. Uh, occasionally, I do cheat and do use these composite characteristics to allow me to fit more in. So when we talk about overall agility, all three of these are needed. And so a lot of times I will use agility in that place, but knowing how it's defined and what we need to measure. So this has been lesson number 123, Composite Architecture Characteristics. I hope that gave you some sense of how to define some of these characteristics and also, perhaps more importantly, how to identify when something is actually a composite characteristic that is inclusive of other kinds 
of architecture characteristics. So stay tuned in two more weeks for another lesson in Software Architecture Monday. Thank you so much.